Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how I use Podio in a really advanced way. All right, I'm going to show you how to use what's called a markdown table to display information from related apps wherever you want it in an app. All right, we're going to be using a calculation field. It's going to be all contained within the Podio, nothing to do with Globiflow. All right, and again, this is a little bit of an advanced technique, but all you need to do is follow along with me. I'm going to show you the exact code I use, the exact calculation, and you can even copy it to put it into your own system, okay? So, Podio, I'm gonna be demonstrating this in the context of project management. So specifically, I'm kind of looking at rehab project management, should you be doing a real estate flip, but really, this can be applied anywhere. And what I'm gonna be using is app-based tasks to demonstrate this. So I do have some videos out there about the differences between Podio native tasks and what's called app-based tasks, and there's certainly some pros and cons to each. Now, one of the cons potentially to an app-based task is that the relationship doesn't really appear in the best way. So what I mean by that is if I have tasks associated with this project, they will only appear at the bottom of the project, okay? Unless I were to do some Globiflow magic and you know always have a field to display them elsewhere, but they're going to always display down here, okay? Which is okay potentially, but I always gotta scroll down to mark them complete. So, and this is a, this is a task here where I have the relationship and, and within this task, I can do whatever I need to, but within, when I you know go over to the project, I can't see those open tasks anywhere. And so I really lose that. I'd have to kind of scroll down here and go through all my other stuff and it's kind of annoying. So again, you could use Globiflow to automatically populate another uh, field, but I'm gonna instead show you how to use markup tables to display them, all right? And what do I mean by markup tables? Well, I actually have it in here. So if I were to wanna see like the open tasks for a specific project, I can go to my tasks app and then I can filter by project and I can see them all here and that's great. That works out nicely. But I might wanna see all those within the project itself and to do that, if I scroll up, you're gonna see what I'm going to do for you today. This open tasks table, which is a calculation field, gives us the list of tasks in a table, their priority and who they're assigned to so I can see them all here. I'm gonna show you how to create this. What's cool about this, you can make this, um, you know, it, you visualize here what is open, what's, what's not. You can also use this to, you know, hyperlink out to the actual item that we're talking about, okay? So it's a really cool way to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually delete this and I'm gonna build it for you and you're gonna see exactly how it works, okay? And the idea is that this is filtered right now so that it's only the, the tasks that are open. So if I were to take one of these tasks and close it, it should fall off my table. So this is schedule subcontractor, which I do have right here. So if I were to close this, this task, meaning I complete it, we want it to fall off that table, which it just did, all right? And I'm gonna show you that in real time too with uh, the split screen. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's get into split screen here. Okay, so again, on my, um, my projects app, here's my list. If this were to go back to incomplete, it's going to then, um, populate onto the table, okay? So I'm going to delete this right now and then show you how to create that uh, formula. All right, so let's go to, um, I'm gonna make this larger for now. And I'm gonna click modify template. I'm going to delete it completely out and we're gonna recreate it from scratch. All right, so. open tasks, I'm gonna delete this whole calculation field, I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna, we're gonna continue on. Now the first thing I'm gonna do as this is saving is you're gonna notice that I'm gonna be referencing a field within tasks called unique ID hidden. So what I recommend you do, the first step is within your, the app that you wanna bring into the table, I want you to create a hidden field called unique ID hidden and make it always hidden. And this will allow us to make the hyperlink so that when I click on 
a task in this case, it's going to tell me, tell the system what task to go to. So go ahead and add that field to whatever app, related app you wanna bring into the system. Okay, so go ahead and do that. So now once that is done, we can go into our project and we can put this calculation field wherever we want it. So right now it's gonna be gone, right? It's not anywhere. So maybe, well, it doesn't seem like it updated yet, but I'm gonna build it wherever I want it, okay? So I can build it like right above the budget, for example. All right, so let's do that. Let's go modify template and let's put it right above the budget. It's gonna be a calculation field. We're gonna call it open tasks, all right? Now again, this is pretty complicated. So just follow along with me and I'm gonna have the code there for you as well. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define some variables and the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna use some copy and paste here. We want to be able to um, have the system get to the related item. So what I'm doing is I'm copying the URL from the related item, which is tasks, and I'm, and I'm shedding it of the unique ID. So it, if I were to refresh this page, it's gonna be items with a unique ID one. I'm gonna take that, everything but that unique ID, copy that, and bring that into a variable called URL, okay? I'm then going to do var status, and I'm going to tell the system that when it's looking for status, it's going to be looking for the status of tasks via referenced app, okay? So I'm looking for the status of my tasks, and that's an incoming reference, okay? I'm also going to be doing a second URL, and this one is really just going to, um, you might've noticed another URL where I, I might just wanna click over to see all of my tasks. So this one's gonna be a simple, everything but the item, just going to be the tasks that I'm going to bring into this URL. And notice I'm putting the URLs in quotes. All right. So, uh, the, I'm also going to be doing one called title and this is going to be just follow with me this is going to seem confusing I'm doing some brackets and then I'm pretty much putting the title of my you know the first um, field in my table okay All right, let me explain this. All right, so what I'm doing here is I want that I want to have a hyperlink called tasks that shows as the very first heading of the first column. I want to be able to click that to go here. All right, so what I've done here is I've, I've defined URL2 and then I'm saying display the word tasks and then go to URL2. All right, that's what I'm doing in that right there. All right, now I'm gonna do var markdown table I'm gonna start building my markdown table. And this again is kind of complex, but um, just stick with me here. All right, so. I'm going to put in the second column, I'm gonna put priority. In the third column, I'm gonna put assigned to. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm pretty much dis defining the, um, the header of my table. And how you do that with markdown tables you use this vertical separator. And I'm just kind of checking this. I have this um, in, in another place here. All right, this looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to take this markdown table and I'm pretty much going to add to it. And this N is, is pretty much a new line, okay? And for this, I you can go ahead and copy and paste what I have there. All right, so now we're, we have this, oops, one too many quotes there. 
All right, so we have our table kind of ready to be built. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to tell it what to display there. So we're going to use a loop, all right? So, so we're gonna define i, and for any time that we have this, that we have a task, so this is going to be the title of our app, Okay, and then I'm going to say if status of i equals incomplete, right? Because I only want to display those that are incomplete. I'm going to take the markdown table and I'm going to add another line to it. Again, that's what that n is for. And here, I'm again going to be bringing in a hyperlink where it's all of title for i plus, then I'm bringing my brackets back. Okay, and actually I need to And I'm taking my URL, which is going to be the, the items one. And I'm actually adding to that URL the unique ID, that hidden unique ID for I. All right, we're getting there. Stick with me here. And then I'm going to take my priority is going to be my next one. And actually I don't need, I have def, I actually have not defined that. So I'm gonna do at priority of i. And anytime you see me doing these vertical lines, I'm pretty much adding a column. And I'm gonna put a sign to for i, and then I'm going to end the column. We need two sets of closed brackets. And we're in decent shape. I'm gonna do some checking for a second. All right, so everything's looking good here. So I'm um, pretty much done. All I have to do is, is tell it the results. So I could just say markdown table. But what I'm gonna do is in the, in the instance that my field is blank, meaning I have no uh, tasks. I'm just gonna give this an if statement. I'm gonna say that if the title, uh, meaning I have no tasks, so if title length equals zero, which is a counter, right? So if you know how to do that, that's a counter. If that's the case, I'm going to deliver a blank, okay? Else I'm gonna grab my markdown table. So again, this is just an if statement to say, if I have no tasks, don't show anything. But if I do have tasks, show what I just produced here. All right, so then you can click done. And this might take a second or two for the system to kind of read the calculation and update. But once it's in there, it works pretty well. Okay, so you see that it's in here and that looks good. And I'm going to click here to see if my hyperlinks work. So that should open this in a new tab. And there it is, okay, so that looks good. And then this, again, this is just getting me to my tasks overall. All right, so this is just getting me my general tasks. And what I'm doing here is I'm on my Mac, I'm clicking Command as I click which is the open a new tab. I think it's control on a PC. All right, and so now if I were to take this and kind of look at it side by side, all right, so here's my file permit one, right? So when it's marked complete, 
then will eventually fall off, right? And if I change my priority, oh, that one fell off, that's why it's not there. All right, so if I make it incomplete, it'll pop back up, and then my priority can change too. All right, so this is just reading those related fields, and you can put it anywhere you want. So you can see how it's a really, really valuable tool. And you can even use this for pretty much any related field. You can even just use it for like bringing in data so that you don't have to jump around between apps. It's really useful. And so this has been a really good workaround for the app-based tasks. Again, the argument that I don't wanna to have to scroll all the way down here to see what's there and then have to mess around. I can decide how I want my table to look and um, I can hyperlink out, which is super useful. I can, I can bring in whatever columns I want as well. All right, so thanks for sticking with me on that. We're going to copy the code. The exact code is going to be copied in the description of the video. And what you're going to need to do is, is obviously understand that the hyperlinks are gonna be different, right? You're gonna to have to copy those for yourself. You're gonna to have to update the, the references as well. All right, and if you have any questions about how to do that, you can certainly reach out to me and I can help you. All right, and if you are interested in the app-based template that we have available or project management or property management, certainly get in touch and we can, um, we can get you those templates. They're available at IncomeDigs.com. And feel free to check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. All right, we'll see you on the next video.